This is Alexandra Palace in North London. It is home to the world's first television studio. So where better for apple pie to film the history of television? In 1929, just seven years after the start of the BBC's world's first public radio service, the BBC broadcast the world's first television transmission. The vision had just 30 vertical lines and just 5 frames a second and would look something like you see now. They were of course in black and white and were produced by a mechanical system designed by Scotsman John Logie Baird. By 1936 the BBC started the world's first regular electronic supposedly high definition service. This had a low definition 405 horizontal lines but a frame rate of 25 frames a second and as you can see, was quite a reasonable standard. Transmissions were still in black and white because the transmissions was on VHF which did not have a high bandwidth. In 1939 the television service was closed down until the end of the Second World War. By 1946 television audiences were beginning to grow. Then in 1955 the BBC was joined by the commercial stations now known as ITV. In 1964, BBC Two was launched. Using the frequencies we use today, the greater bandwidth of UHF was allowed the colour to come into television three years later, although at first it was a bit washed out. In 1973, the Teletext Information Service was introduced using some of the lines at the top of the picture, which aren't actually used for the picture. 1984 saw the start of Channel 4, which was followed by Sky Television and, in 1997, by Channel 5. The next big step forward was in 1998, when BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel 4 and 5 went digital and widescreen. With many television signals being able to use the same frequency, digital television allows the even greater advances, for instance of the movement up to high definition televisions with 1080 lines, with almost five times the definition of a standard television. We are fortunate. With the technology that we have in school, we can simulate what high definition televisions will look like. The left hand side of the screen shows our standard television picture and on the right you can see a simulation of the higher standard of the high definition picture. But wait, there is more to come. Broadcasters are already beginning to move to 3D television without need for special glasses. On that thought, back to the studio.